Hi, and welcome to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be crocheting a bra top using metal chain. And I got the idea from this creator right here. I saw one of their videos where they crocheted a bra top using the chain and it just looked so cool. And I never even thought to crochet with something other than yarn until seeing that video. So yeah, the top that they made is gonna be my inspiration for what I'm making in today's video. I am so excited. I feel like it's gonna look so cool. But yeah, that's all I got for the intro. So let's jump right in. Okay, so I have two whole things of chain here and I have never tried crocheting with chain before. So I have no idea what size hook that I should use. So I'm doing all this for the first time. So I don't know how it's gonna work out. I hope it does work though. Um, but I mean, I guess if not, then I can just return this chain and it won't be a big deal. But if you're seeing this video, that means that it clearly worked out. Okay, so now, so the first thing I gotta do, I gotta find out what size hook to use. For this chain okay so I tried a few different sized hooks and I landed on this eight millimeter size crochet hook and seems to do the trick and I have tried crocheting a few chains with this chain <laughs> so far it actually seems to work up pretty decently so I, my hopes are rising. I feel like this actually might work out. So the top that I'm making is gonna be pretty simple. It's literally just gonna be two squares that I'm gonna be putting over my, my bust and making into like a kind of bra top. So, cause I wanna keep it as simple as possible. And I feel like even though I have like two things of chain, I feel like it's not that much. What is it? Each one is 10 yards. That's not a lot, that's not a lot at all. So I can't do anything too big. Um, so I'm going to start by crocheting a, a long chain. Well, not super long, but just a chain for one of the sides of the square. So, oops. This honestly feels so weird, but it's kind of nice. I honestly, it's kind of satisfying crocheting with chain. So far, I don't want to speak too soon. But yeah, kind of satisfying. Uh, but also kind of tricky, to be honest. So each time I have to start over and I have to take it apart, it doesn't, it kind of gets caught when I try to like pull it apart. So as you can see, I just kind of shake it and it kind of just falls apart. Gosh darn, okay. No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, so let's see how 10 chains fits. Okay, no. I'm gonna do 11, 12, maybe 13. Mm. I always hate this part. I just want someone to tell me what the right amount is. Maybe 14. 14. 14. Nice. Okay, I think 14 is good. I gotta be honest, um, it's been about like five, only like five minutes since I said my hopes were high. Um, now I have some doubts because it's, it's, uh, it's not looking exactly like how I wanted it to. I'm, I'm starting back from the beginning again because I took it, I had to take it out, whatever I had before this because it was not looking too great. So now I'm just practicing. 
I'm not doing anything for real yet. I'm just practicing crocheting with chain because it's weird. It feels weird. <laughs> and some of the things that I'm doing look weird. So just getting used to it before I really get into what I'm making. It's also like really hard to see my stitches. This is what it, it looks like. So this is, I think like a chain of seven. It looks kind of cool, but when I start crocheting into the chain, it starts to get a little weird. So yeah, I'm gonna continue practicing for a little bit and then I'll come back to give you a little update as to how it's working out. So good news, it uh, looks like it's kind of working out. So this is what it's looking like. It's actually looking kind of nice. So like just imagine that, like a cute little, cute little bralette. Oops. Ooh. I feel like this would so easily get tangled though. And I'm also kind of worried that like certain parts of it are like kind of falling apart. <laughs> but it's okay. I think it's actually gonna be okay. Cute! Okay, so now I'm gonna do it for real. So I'm gonna take out what I just did because this is not gonna be big enough, I don't think. No, it's not. So to take it out, see, I'll show you guys. Oh. Well, I don't want it to get tangled, but if I just, just kind of pull on it gently, it comes apart pretty easily. I guess I just gotta be a little careful because I'm sure it could get tangled and I don't want that to happen because that would be really annoying to have to detangle and I don't want this chain to break or anything because it is pretty delicate. <sighs> this is kind of satisfying though. Also, what I just showed you like before I took it apart, that only took me like five minutes to do. So I don't think this project is gonna take me that long. I mean, what might make it take a while is if I have to like do it and undo it a bunch of times until I get it right. There you go. But crocheting the project itself, I don't think will take too long. Okay, so I'm gonna start again. So I'm making a slip knot. So one, two, 10, 11, 12. Maybe I'll do 13. 13 is good. Yay. So 13, yeah, we're, we're sticking to 13. That's the number. And then I'm gonna do plus two for the turning chains. And now we start. Okay, so we have row one and here's row two. Okay, so a little update. It has been about like two hours <laughs> since I filmed last, or maybe an hour and a half. I have just been crocheting in complete silence for the past hour and a half, two hours. Um, it just trying to figure out how to do this top here. I have done it and undone it about like, almost, maybe almost 10 times to be honest, or not quite. It's definitely been a lot of times that I have restarted this top, um, but yeah, a few things have changed since the last clip. So initially I was doing like a bra top, but like with two squares. But I'm not doing that anymore because turns out I don't have enough chain for that. Uh, 10 yards per thing is definitely not enough for even one little square for one side of the bra top. So instead of doing like a square like this, I'm just doing a regular, I'm just doing a triangle bra top. So like, eh, 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 like a regular bra or bikini top so that should take up a little less chain and it's gonna be like a little mini one so hopefully that looks good it's not gonna be that mini but it's not gonna be like a regular size like meh, meh, meh. <laughs> i don't know how to describe it but 
I just don't want to buy more chain. I have two, like, I have two of these. Um, so my goal is to be able to use up one roll for each side of the bra top and not have to buy any more chain. So that's the goal. And I'm currently working up this little triangle right now. Oh no. My hands are getting a little sweaty and I just realized I was like clinging on to this chain with my sweaty hands and I did not buy tarnish free metal. So I'm pretty sure this can rust. So that's unfortunate. So anyways, I just wanted to come on here and update you guys, but now I am currently working up this triangle and hopefully this is the final time and I got it right this time because I was trying to get the sizing of the triangle right and that took a few tries. It's a been a struggle. So like I mentioned in the beginning, um, the top itself is pretty quick to work up, but what I knew would take me freaking forever would be doing it and undoing it a bunch of times and having to restart and like that's what's taking me forever. But it's fine. I kind of like problem solving and like, I don't know, just trying something new. So it's, it's worth the effort. Okay, so I just finished working it up and this is what it looks like. Oh my God, it's so pretty. And now I'm just deciding whether or not it's a good size. Like if I should make it a little bit bigger or not, I'm just still trying to figure that out. But I'm gonna think on it a little bit and um, just take a little break from this uh, because it is currently almost 11 o'clock. So I think I need to just put this aside for now because I've just been so fixated on this for I feel like at this point, it's definitely been two hours. Um, part of me wants to continue working on it, but I need to start getting ready for bed. Okay, so it's currently the next day, and um, as I was saying yesterday, I think, um, I think I showed you, I think I showed you what I had so far. Um, yeah, so I have one side of the little bra top um but now i now that i figured out the bra top my dilemma is i don't know if it's the right shape i'm overthinking whether or not i should make it bigger or keep it the size that i have it so what i'm gonna do is i am going to make the same thing with my other roll of chain right here but this time I'm going to make it slightly bigger and then I'm going to compare the two to see which one I like better. So um, I'm going to quickly work up this slightly bigger triangle, which shouldn't take me too long. Now that I know what I'm doing, working up the actual bra top um, itself shouldn't take me too long. Like I said before, what's making it take me so long is the fact that I've had to start over repeatedly it's been it's been a it's been a process it's been a, it's been a struggle anyways okay this time i think last time the foundation chain was 10 chains long and i have to make sure it stays the number stays even so i can't do one chain more i have to do two more chains so last time i started with a chain of 10 and this time i'm going to start with a chain of 12. Okay, so I finished the slightly bigger one, and this is what it looks like. I think I'm leaning more towards the slightly bigger one. Like if I hold it up against my bust, this is how it fits. I feel, I feel like it's the right size. Also, I feel like this might be a sign that it's the right size because I ended up having just the right amount of chain for this little triangle right here. So it's a sign, I think, that it's the right one. So uh, I don't know. Okay, I'll hold up both options though. Can you see well? I don't know. Oh no. I need someone here to help me with this. I don't know if this is a very good visual, but 
from what I could see in a little screen for of my camera, it, I think I'm liking this one. But I'm gonna go compare in the mirror and then I will come back and tell you guys what I've decided. Okay, so I definitely like the bigger one better. So that's the one I'm gonna go with. So that's the one with the starting chain of 12. So now I guess I have to figure out what I'm gonna do next. So unlike working with yarn, um, like when I when you tie a knot with yarn, it ties pretty securely. But with this chain, I'm noticing that like when I tie a knot with the chain, like the starting, like the slip knot that I made in the beginning, and the like knot that I'm making to fasten off at the end here, um, aren't as secure. Let me see if I can show you. So like this knot at the top here could come undone if it wanted to, or if I wanted it to. So I had to find a way to make it a little bit more secure. Um, last year, I went through a pretty intense beading phase and I bought a lot of beading supplies and I still have that uh, stored away in my closet. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that out and I should have the materials that I need to kind of fasten, like put some little clasps to kind of secure the little knots on this triangle. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that really quick. Okay. I had to go digging in my closet to find this. I don't have a very organized closet if I'm honest. At the moment though, I'm gonna organize it eventually. Okay, so what I need, oh, this is what I was looking for. So in this little box, I have a bunch of, like, they're called findings, I think, jewelry findings. Um, so yeah, I need stuff like this. I have a bunch of different sizes in them, I think, but um, this is what they look like. And then I have little pliers that I can kind of use to clasp these onto my top. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Okay. I'm going to do this one off camera, but then I have to make the second triangle, which I might, um, which I'll try and do this part on camera for that. The second triangle. Um, I just don't really know what I'm doing right now. So I'm going to, I'm just going to kind of go with it and it's probably not going to be very, I don't know, efficient. So I'm not going to film this part of it. Okay. So now I'm going to make the second triangle. So I'm making a chain of 12. And now I'm going to just double crochet down the chain. And this is what it looks like. I just wanted to show you what it looks like from this point of view so you could really see what it looks like to work to crochet with chain. It definitely is a little tricky at first. It took me a little bit to get used to it. But once you get used to it, it's not too bad. It's definitely not as bad as I thought it would be. You definitely got to work with a big hook. And at first it was a little tricky for me to really see my stitches and understand what I was inserting my hook into. But now I'm able to tell what my stitches look like in chain form. Another thing that makes it really tricky is the fact that there's zero stretch in the chain. So you kind of have to crochet lightly. But look how pretty that is. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait to wear this top. Okay, so as you can see, I now have both triangles completed and now I'm just, I'm a little stuck 
on what to do next. Like I know what I have to do next, but I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to go about doing it. So I have to connect the two triangles together and then I have to make the straps uh, that go over my shoulders and then the ones that go around my back. But I have to make them so that they fit perfectly and it's so awkward to do because I don't have like a like one of those like mannequin things where you can kind of put it on there and size it properly I'm holding it up against my own body which has proven to be a little awkward um so I'm just going to wing this but um and it might take a couple tries but hopefully hopefully it works I think I mentioned I was gonna do like more of a close-up when I when it got to the part where I was gonna add these little these little guys. Um, but this is as close up as I'm gonna get because I'm a little stressed out about doing this part and I just I wanna foc I wanna be able to focus on what I'm doing and it's a little harder to do that if I'm like trying to get the camera real up close because I don't really have like a way of doing that effortlessly right now um so I'm just gonna film from this angle and hopefully you can kind of see what I'm doing Okay, I had to turn off my camera for a little bit because it was taking me so long to just close this little clasp and I feel like that'd be like really boring to watch and I don't even know if this is a really great angle, but um, yeah, this is what I've done. So I just connected the two triangles, but I'm not gonna cut off any bits of the chain just in case it ends up not fitting, then I can adjust it later on. Okay, so what I'm thinking is the chain on the top here i'm thinking of double stranding it so that it's extra strong but if i do that it doesn't leave me enough chain to use for like the pieces that i'm going to tie on the sides here to tie in the back um but what i do have is some leftover chain here from way back from last year during my beading phase um, I bought this chain which I'm pretty sure is the same size okay it's a little smaller um, but what's bugging me the most is that it's not exactly the same color this is stainless steel and this is iron and there's a slight difference in color which is kind of bugging me. The more I think about it though, the more it starts to bug me. The fact that this stainless steel, slightly smaller chain isn't exactly the same as this. So I think I'm just gonna do a little, I think I'm just gonna make a little trip to Michael's and uh, buy another thing of these of chain. Even though I'm so close to having just the right amount, I'm gonna buy one more because I do need a little bit more. So back to the store we go. I'm back from the store and I got an extra roll of chain. Same thing as last time. So now I'm gonna get to adding the straps. Okay, so, um, I am going to be double stranding each strap to make it extra strong. So I think what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna add the straps here first and get that sorted before I figure out the top straps. Yeah, I think that's how I'm gonna do it. 
Okay, so I actually ended up making the rest of this top off camera because I forgot to film the part where I added the straps. So the top is actually done now and I currently have it on. So I'm just gonna back away to show you guys what it looks like. So this is what it looks like, all done. And I think it actually looks really nice. The only thing I'm having some issues with is um, finding out what kind of top to pair with it underneath this is kind of like the best thing i could come up with right now i've tried a lot of other tops underneath and they just weren't really working out but i feel like this top kind of looks cute with it anyways i'm just gonna do a quick little review of this top so to start off it wasn't too difficult to do it did get a little complicated and stressful at um, a certain point near the end but um aside from that actually crocheting the triangles themselves wasn't too difficult um, there was a, like a little bit of a learning curve in the beginning when I was getting used to crocheting with chain but after a few tries I got the hang of it and it was actually not too difficult it was kind of cool getting to crochet with chain so that part wasn't too bad um, but what got a little complicated and stressful was when I had to add the straps onto the triangles and that's because since I made the whole top with chain when it came to connecting the parts together it wasn't as easy as just tying some sort of knot because that wouldn't hold I had to use jewelry findings to connect everything together and also the chain itself has zero stretch so in order to connect everything I had to use the jewelry findings connect the straps onto the triangles and then try it on and then if it didn't fit properly when I tried it on I had to then take the straps off and then connect them back on in order to try to get that perfect fit and I ended up having to do that several times and it took forever to get the perfect fit even now I wouldn't even say this is the perfect fit like it looks like it fits properly but it's a little too tight um, along this strap here at the bottom like if I breathe too deeply it starts to feel very tight and I feel like I'm almost gonna break off the top but I honestly it took me so long to get to this point that I just can't be bothered to make another adjustment to the straps so I'm just gonna leave it how it is yeah that part was definitely very stressful just because I had to do it over and over again and I just couldn't get it right I feel like it would be a lot easier if I had like some sort of mannequin where I could just put everything together on the mannequin and then put it on myself afterwards but I don't have a mannequin so I had to do it all on myself and but aside from that um it wasn't too bad but I probably won't be making another crochet top using chain again um not because the process was complicated and slightly stressful but more so because the chain itself is very expensive I ended up using three rolls of chain and they each cost $13 so the total I'm just gonna put the total here um, which I feel like is like a little too much for just like a small top like this so if the chain was a little bit more affordable I would definitely be crocheting more tops using chain because I feel like it does look really cool like let me just give you guys a little close-up here but since the chain is really expensive, I probably won't be making another top like this for a while. Because of the price point of the chain, I would only crochet small tops with chain. And since I already have one, I don't really feel like I need to make another one. But who knows, maybe I will make another one in the future because I did enjoy the process and I do like the end results. But yeah, I think that's all I have to say about this top. So I'm gonna end this video here. But thank you guys so much for watching. I had so much fun filming this video. I hope you guys had fun watching it. If you guys think this top looks cool, I definitely recommend you guys try crocheting a top using chain. It's definitely a cool experience and it looks unique. So it's definitely worth trying at least once. Anyways, I'm gonna go now. So thank you guys for watching. Bye!